I don't know how it happened, but it did. The practice run had gone so smoothly. Everyone was relaxed, having a good time. The morning had been a breeze. I went golfing with my friends and family. We came back to my house, my parents' house. We had lunch. Everyone kept asking me if I was nervous. I wasn't nervous. I was excited. I wanted to get things going. I didn't see a reason to be nervous until I got up on that stage. I walked into the room with the pastor to my left, and I walked down the aisle. I stood up on the stage and looked back at about 200 friends and family. And all of a sudden, I realized I was incredibly nervous. <laughs> As the wedding ceremony would go on, the pastor made two references to the amount that I was sweating. <laughs> and I say I don't know how it happened. It may have been the fact that there were 200 people in the room, and, and basically the, the temperature was rising, not only in the room, but also inside that coat, the three-piece suit that I was wearing. It could have been the fact that I realized that eight months of planning and thinking about a wedding was finally coming at once. And in that moment, I knew that I was really fully there. I did my best throughout the whole ceremony to listen to everything that the pastor was saying to us and to make sure I repeated his words exactly. But there were so many other thoughts going on in my head. I can still say, I mean, it was one of the best moments of my life. And I did have to watch the, uh, the video once or twice again just to fully realize exactly what was said and what exactly happened the whole time. But uh, it was definitely a moment in my life where I was fully there. I was in that moment and nothing else was really going on in the world. And after that wedding ceremony, the next week would have a few more moments where I was fully engaged. We went on a honeymoon to Mexico in Playa del Carmen. We left two days after the wedding last Monday and it was an awesome time. And I really realized um, where I wanted to go with this speech when I was on a excursion that we, we went off the resort down in Mexico and we went on an ATV, it's called Ent Adventurous Maya. We went into the Mayan jungle, basically we took ATVs through the jungle to different scenarios. First we, we took an ATV to a zip line course where we basically zip lined over the canopy of the jungle uh, about a thousand feet three different times. I enjoyed it, I thought it was great. Katie not so much, especially <laughs> when the first time they sent her off to the the balcony, they realized they still had the, the catch on there, so she went about two feet and got caught oh. sitting right over the top of the jungle, so after that, she almost didn't go on the next two. <laughs> but it went fine. And then we took the ATVs a little further, we went to a cenote. If you've never heard of a cenote, it's basically an underground water system, fresh water system that runs to the ocean. And what we did is you could either cliff dive into the cenote, it's basically a pool in the jungle. Uh, or you could take a zip line and jump off of that into the, into the cenote. But it was great fun, and the water was nice and refreshing. And it's pretty hot down in Mexico. We then took the ATV a little bit further, and we went to another cenote. They're all connected, and they all run to the ocean. But this one was under a cave. And we went snorkeling through the cave. At some points, you actually had to swim under portions of the cave to get to the next part um, so you wouldn't hit the ceiling which was a little tough for me as someone who's a little bit claustrophobic. But all in all, it was a great time. When we got done with that excursion, we were driving back to the resort, and Katie asked me if I, my wife asked me if I enjoyed the trip. And I said, yes. And I thought about it a little bit, and I realized that there wasn't a moment in that five hours that we were doing those activities where I wasn't fully engaged in what was going on. I was truly living in that moment with no distractions. And what that made me realize is that I really want to, to make sure that that is a part of my life more often. The whole time we were in Mexico, there's no phone service, and there's really no way to communicate with anybody else that you're not with on the resort. Um, so basically, I am kind of creating a plan for my life to create more moments where I'm fully engaged. One being to put my phone away a little bit more. I know it's sometimes uh, phones are necessary for my work, for a lot of things, to communicate with my friends and family who don't live near here, but I need to make sure I make time for my phone is just in my pocket or in the car or not with me. I also want to do things that challenge me, things that I haven't done before, things that 
basically will create that situation. And lastly, I just want to be more engaged in what I'm doing. So this may not be a, a life-shattering or earth-shattering thought, but it is something that everyone can think about. What moments in your life make you fully engaged? And try to find those more often. That's just the message I want to leave you. Thank you.